we're reading a man yo reading a goodness Hoto Maru poet part three from the man Yoshu. He's a uh, great one of the four greatest Japanese poets. The next poem is uh, poem two twenty. Tamarmo Yoshi, the land of Sanuki of the jeweled weed is. Is it for its nature that gazing on it we do not tire? Is it for its divinity that we revere it thus? Perfect and complete like the heavens and earth, like the sun and the moon, it, it is surely the face of a god from the port of Naga. Come down from the age of the gods when we launch our boat and row it out as the tide wind gusts through the clouds. When we look to the offing, the rolling waves rise. When we look to the shore, the white waves clamor in the fear of the sea while where whales are hunted. We, we strained on the oars of our traveling boat. Though there are many islands scattered here and there on the rocky strand of Samin Island, so beautifully named, when we made, made our shelter and looked, taking as your pillow of hemp and cloth the shore where waves roar constantly, you lie fallen on this rough bed. If I knew your house, I would go and tell the news if your wife knew. She would come asking for you. But not knowing even the road, straight as a jeweled spear, with troubled mind, she must be waiting and longing for you, your beloved wife. Poem 221. This is Man Yoshu, chapter 2, 221. Yohitomaru Maru. Were your wife here? She would have plucked and eaten them. But the season has already passed of the herbs in the field on Sami Mountain. But the season's passed. If your wife was here, she would have plucked and eaten them. <laughs> and then she was springtime. Poem 222, taken, taking as your pillow of hemp and cloth this wild strand where waves of the offing draw near, you lie sleeping. This poem, which envoys on the discovery of a dead man on the island of Samin. Ooh, he found a dead man. This next poem for our chapter of the Man Yoshu, which is the oldest anthology of Japanese poetry. We're on chapter three, poem 415. It says, a poem composed by Prince Sotoku when he was visiting Takahara and grieved at the sight of a dead man on Mount Tatsuta. Hmm. This is not the poet's. Were you at home, your girl's arm would be your pillow. How pitiful this traveler, fallen on the journey, pillowed by the grass. And then there's a poem by Hitomaro, grieving over a corpse, uh, lodging on a journey with grass for your pillow. Whose husband are you, your country forgotten, your family waiting at home? says grass for pillow is a conventional image in travel poetry. Okay, you don't have to analyze it also, David. All right. <laughs> well, I just noticed that. There's uh, so many other poems. Why we have to analyze this I, one? I just noticed that. Uh, don't notice anything. Go to the next poem. <laughs> okay. Let's see the next poem. Hmm. There's so much to get to the next poem. Yeah, there's a lot of writing. That's it. David, you don't have to read it, okay? Dear, I'm not reading it. I'm looking for the next poem. 
Here's a poem. Hmm. Poem. Awari Mukashi, how fortunate was Hitomaro said to live in the days of old. Though his station was lowly, he lifted up his words to the heavens. Now, I don't know, does it say that he wrote it? That's hmm. a nice poem, though. You can read it again. I'm trying to see. You don't have to mm -hmm. see, read it. If you read maybe twice, three times. I'm going to make sure he wrote it. Uh, oh, it says, How fortunate was he tomorrow and said to live in the days of old? Though his station was lowly, he lifted up his words to the heavens. So either he wrote it or somebody else wrote it about him. We don't have time to analyze. <laughs> Wait. We're only on chapter two. Here we go. A sage of poetry. Now they're saying he's a sage of poetry. Poem now or in chapter eight of fourteen twenty four. One of four poems. Uh, I don't know. Why is why is this by Yamabi no Suki? We'll read it anyways. Haru no no ni having come to the spring villages to pluck violets, entrance by those fields, I slept there all night. Here's a poem, 19, 9, chapter 6, 9, 19, by Yamabi no Tsukino. Don't know why he's here. At Waba Bay, when the tide comes in and the dry shore vanishes, Towards the reed beds, the cranes cross crying. Hmm. Because the water pipe takes away the... the now we get some travel. This is, he said that he liked travel the most, actually. That travel poems, he liked his own travel poems the most. He says... Ho ho bono to dimly, dimly, in the morning mist of Akashi Bay, I think of a boat going island hidden. Dimly, dimly, in the morning mist of Akashi Bay, I think of a boat going island hidden. Hmm. He's gonna go hide. <laughs> Here's a winter poem. Now the Ko Kensu. It's poems, chapter 6, 334. Says, Umi no Hana. The plum blossoms, I cannot see which they are, as the distant sky is so misty with snow falling everywhere. Hmm. Now he says, the plum blossoms, I cannot see which they are, as the distant sky is so misty with snow falling everywhere. We're jumping about here, just reading the poems. <laughs> Can you read it again? Why is there the Kensu here? Read it again. I don't know what we're reading. We're just reading poems. The plum blossoms, I cannot see which they are, as the distant sky is so misty with snow falling everywhere. We're reading from... And How can blossoms that be with snow? How can the snow come in this way with us? How? Blossoms. Analysis. <laughs> There's all this stuff. Hmm. How is it they appear in the Shoko Kinsu? I don't know. Maybe it's a variation. It says here, 
Going out on Tago Bay when I look on Fuji's high peak, white as hemp and sleeve, snow is falling. I don't know if he influenced this later poet, Yamabi. It could be it could be saying that he's an influence on later poets. Here's another poet. It says this long, long night, long as the tra trailing trail of the bird of the foot dragging hills, I sleep alone. But this is an attribution to Hito Maro by another poet. I'm sure they're attributed to each other all the time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Here's a new poem. Waga Yado No. The wisteria waves by the pond at my dwelling have bloomed. When will the mountain cuckoo come and sing? So... They're expecting, uh, that's not, it's not, it's not his poem. It's, uh, it's, next poem. The night is cold and none will lend a robe as the wild geese call out. The bush clover's lower leaves have started to change color. Next poem, the plum blossoms. I cannot see which they are. As the distant sky is so misty with snow falling everywhere. I don't know why that's repeated. Hmm. What's with this article? Hmm. What is with this article? Mm -hmm. hmm. Strange article. Maybe this is a book even. Here's a poem. Catalpa bow, who in what time, thinking of a thousand ages ahead, might have planted the seed of the small pine on the rocky shore? See, these are not uh, these are not Hito Maro's poems. On the Tatsuta River, the autumn leaves flow on Mimuro Mountain, and the abode of the gods, cold rain must be falling. I, I think they're talking about all the people he influenced. Now, on Autumn Leaves' poem, it says... This may be his poem. On the Asuka River, the autumn leaves flow, and the leaves of the trees on the Kazuraki Mountains must be falling now. I guess she, she's writing that that these that's his poem and that he has many people writing like him later on. Here we have, on the Tatsuti River, the leaves seem to flow in disarray. Crossing now would surely tear asunder their brocade. We're reading from uh, Hitomaru, one of the greatest poem, early poems of Japan. And we're reading from uh, Hitomaru, the poet as God by Ann Commons. And we've come to the end, this third section. <laughs>